Number 8. 1952 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR68 Cameo by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1952 proof Jefferson Nickel usually comes without a cameo or deep cameo appearance. And most examples grade at about PR65 to PR67 without the cameo or deep cameo appearance. Examples with a cameo appearance are much harder to find but several hundred examples exist in all grades combined. With a deep cameo appearance they are rare. This cameo specimen fetched a sum of $1,055.25 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1979 P. Susan B. Anthony Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the rim is wide on this variety, and it can be easily distinguished from the narrow rim variant by the close proximity of the date to the rim. This specimen is sharply struck and satiny with no noteworthy abrasions. Each side displays attractive multicolor toning in pastel hues. It ended up selling for $1,920. Number 6. 1967 Lincoln Scent from Special Mint Set. Otherwise known as SMS Scent. Graded as SP65 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. Scents from the 1965 to 1967 special mint sets can be found with cameo contrast, but deep cameo examples are very rare. This is a magnificent gem that boasts uniform peach gold color. The fields are reflective and devoid of detractions. A significant opportunity for the advanced Lincoln scent collector. It ended up selling for $3,360. Number 5. 1878 Silver Morgan Dollar with Polished Ear. Graded as MS66 by NGC. George T. Morgan's design was introduced on the Silver Dollar in 1878. According to Walter Breen, the Eight Tail Feathers variety was produced from March 12 to March 25, before the switch to the Seven over Eight Tail Feathers dies. The actual mintage for the Eight Tail Feathers variety is unknown, but Q. David Bauer's estimates about 750,000 circulation strikes were produced. This spectacular premium gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved brilliant surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $5,640. Number 4. 1976S Silver Bicentennial Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. A rare find for a registry set. This 25-cent piece boasts tack-sharp strike, lustrous silver-gray surfaces that are free from any large distraction. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1976S Washington Silver Quarter is a one-year type. The coin is very common in circulated grades. The reverse has an image of a drummer boy and many coins in circulation have been pulled because of its different design. Only examples in MS-68 condition or higher appear to be scarce but still thousands of examples exist if enough searching is done. In MS-69 condition it is really scarce with less than a handful of examples known and none existing in higher condition. This true rarity fetched a sum of $5,918.75 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 2000 P. Cheerios Sacagawea Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The Sacagawea Dollar was introduced in the year 2000, and to promote the new Golden Dollar, General Mills was enlisted to include Sacagawea dollars in random boxes of Cheerios cereal. Most purchasers received only a 2,000 cent, but a small percentage in addition received a Mint State 2,000 P Sacagawea dollar. It was not until a few years later that numismatist Pat Braddock reported in June 2005 that his example differed from the typical example. The tail feathers were ribbed. The lot also includes the original 2,000 Lincoln cent that accompanied the dollar in the cereal box, graded MS65 Red PCGS. It ended up selling for $5,760. Number 2. 1976S Silver Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. The Silver 1976S Bicentennial Dollar is widely available in certified capacity, although these coins largely reside in the MS66 and MS67 grade range, with the population dropping off sharply in MS68. This is in contrast to some clad issues in the series that are readily available even in MS-69. The 1976S Silver issue is a major rarity in MS-69. PCGS and NGC each report a total of 7 submissions in this grade and none finer. 
pristine satin luster glistens across brilliant surfaces and sharp design elements. A few faint russet accents around the borders serve as pedigree markers. It was sold for $15,000 on January 12, 2024. Number 1. And this is 1909 VDB Lincoln scent with enchanting toning. Graded in mint state 68 plus red and brown by PCGS and later approved by CAC. Other than iridescent hues around the borders it displays outstanding preservation level and mark-free surfaces. The original design feature are the designer's initials VDB at the bottom of the reverse which was later removed from next issues due to public outcry. This superb gem fetched a sum of $29,250 with buyer's fee on January 14, 2024. And there you have it folks. 8 rare coins that you should keep an eye for. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.